What's up guys and welcome to Predications Daily Tech Tips. In today's tech tip we're learning how to translate documents using Google Docs. Now you can translate documents using Google Docs and that's gonna use Google Translate which means you have a very wide array of languages you can translate to and from using Google Docs. Now if you have encountered a document like this that you want to translate Google Docs is a very powerful and readily available tool that you can use to translate documents. Now, what you need to do is just save that document somewhere on your computer and take note of where you've saved it. And then go ahead and open any browser and go to Google Docs at docs.google.com. And once you're in Google Docs, simply start a new document, a new blank document. Click right there. Now, what you want to do is import your document into this Google Docs blank document. Now go to file, click open, and then go to upload, and then select a file from your device by clicking there, and then go ahead and find that document you want to translate. Click on it and select open. Now with the document open inside Google Docs, simply go to tools and then select translate document. Now what's going to happen here is that Google Docs will create a copy, a translated copy of this current document. So in this little window, give the translated copy a name. So by default, it's translated copy of the default name of my Word document, which is Word document. And then I'm going to choose the language I want to translate to, which is English. And then click on translate and that will open a new Google Docs document with a translated version of my original document. And here it is. Now that translation is from Google Translate, so it might not be perfect, but really Google just does its best to try and translate the document the best way it can. You can see a few English sentences here, like the entire front skirt and a free cut on hairstyle, things like that. And that's really how to translate a document in Google Docs. Now you can go ahead and translate even a PDF for instance, I have a PDF here in English. I'm going to attempt to translate this into a French document. So once again, just take a note of where it's saved. Go to Google Docs. I'm going to create a new Google Docs document. Go to Google Docs. Start a new blank document. And then once again, I'll go to File. Open. Then select Upload from right there. And then select a file from your device. And then I'm going to look for my PDF document. And here we go. So select it, click open. Now, since this is a PDF document and Google Docs does not process PDF documents, you might have to go another step, an extra step, and select open with Google Docs. And it's going to open that PDF now in Google Docs processing format. Now, with the document open in Google Docs, once again, go to tools and select translate document. You can give the new translated document a name and then choose language. I'm going to go for French this time. So I'm going to translate this to French and click on translate. And once again, Google Docs will open a new document with the name we just gave and translate that document into a French document. There you go. So it translates everything into French, including the titles. Now, this is your translated document inside Google Docs. You can still convert this into a file or a PDF file like it was before, but this time translated into a different language. You had an English PDF file. Now to create a French PDF file, you need to just package this from Google Docs and Google Docs can do this for you. Simply go to file, go to download, and then you can choose whether you want to have a translated Word document or even a PDF document like it was before. So I'm going to select PDF document. And then on this window, choose where you want to save your translated PDF document. You can see the format here is PDF and then click on save. And that's really how to translate documents using Google Docs. Thank you for watching. You can leave your comments and questions down in the comment section below. Don't forget to share and subscribe for more tips. Until the next one, my name is Chris and I'll talk to you guys soon.